Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming an exciting little first impressions slash swatch party video for some new eyeshadows I just got in the mail from Terra Moon Cosmetics. Now if you are new to my channel or you are kind of still dipping your toe into the indie makeup market, you might not have heard of them, but take note sister because they've got some good stuff. So I have a few different collections from them in my collection already. You guys may be familiar with their iridescent chameleon shades. This was their first set of shadows I picked up from them. This half is the Sugar Drops <laughs> from Divina, so ignore that. But the bottom half is the Iridescent Chameleons, and I love those. I have a full swatch party of this palette on my channel, so I will try and remember to link that in the description box for you guys. And in my inner corner today, I am wearing the shade Red Giant, which is by far the most amazing iridescent red shade in my collection, obviously. And then the next release from them that I got really excited about was their Vibrant Multichromes, which are in this palette. So these six shadows are their Vibrant Multichromes, and I've had these for some time now, so I want to swatch these in this video as well. Now, my newest shadows to my Terra Moon collection are these guys, which are the Pastel Multichromes, which literally just got here in the mail today, and I put this in their Terra Moon palette, which they were so kind in sending me. This is so stunning and beautiful, and I love the size because it's a little bit smaller, so it's great for making custom palettes. Now, I also have in here I put these separate because there's a few shades in here and I didn't want to mix them up with the special shades, but these are their neon shadows, matte shadows. We did have a bit of a casualty with the blue shade, but these are their neon mattes and I saw my friend Legally Black Beauty, she had swatches on her Instagram of these and so they just look so pigmented and beautiful that I decided to Throw those into my order as well. I will go ahead and link her Instagram account in my description box. You guys should definitely follow her if you guys are of a deeper skin tone because she swatches a lot of the new indie releases, which is awesome. The last thing I want to show you guys is my Cleonade palette. So these are the Cleonade Pastel Multichromes. I have a swatch party video on those as well that I'll try and remember to link. I don't have any of their... Did they do a vibrant multichrome? I can't remember, but these are their pastels. So those are gorgeous. And then some of these shades, like the shade I have on my lid today, kind of remind me of these shadows, which are the Davina Willy Wonka candy something collection. So I've got quite a few variations of these like colorful multichrome indie brand type stuff so i just want you to know that in case you have some of these products maybe you can find like little dupes here and there you know i was eyeing the Kristen leanne spring collection that she came out with this is like this beautiful collection i'll throw up a picture for you guys if you're wondering what i'm talking about and i had to talk myself out of it because i have the cleonade um, pastels and then I knew I had the Terra Moons on order and I was like, okay, I don't need the same kind of shades. I'm sure they weren't exactly the same, but similar vibes. I don't need to keep accumulating those. So I had to rein it back in and not purchase those, which I'm kind of happy about. Um, but I'm excited to see my other friends kind of review those. I did create this eye look with some new indie makeup that I have received and purchased. I'm going to save that till the end and Right now, I'm just going to swatch the three different new formulas that I picked up from Terra Moon. So I'm going to swatch the new pastels. I'm going to swatch the Vibrant Multichromes, which I've had for a while. They've been out for a while. And then I'm going to swatch the Neon Mattes for you guys to see as well. Just in case you are planning to purchase from them in the future. I also know my friend Amy Loves Makeup has a code with Terra Moon Cosmetics. So feel free to use that and show her some support. Without further blabbering, let's get into the swatches.
I hope you enjoyed those swatches. That was really fun to film that. Now I want to show you guys how I created this eye look. Okay, so I want to do a quick eye look with my Terra Moon new pastel multi-chromes and I thought I would use the Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb palette to create a crease. If you guys haven't seen this palette, it's beautiful. I kind of want to do a whole look with this, but that is for another video for another time. I think with the Midas shadows, the pink shades are really calling to me. Like this Daisy and Hibiscus. So I'm going to go into Daisy. I'm just going to throw that into the crease. So usually when I do my first crease color, I like to get pretty messy and just kind of blend that all over and like really diffuse it. There's a bit of fallout right here from that pink shade. It's really kicking up in the pan too. So I think I need to dust it some more. It's a really pretty color. Ooh, I like that. Okay, next I want to go into Hibiscus, which is the more dark pink. Just stick that in the outer half and pull it in. Okay, and then there is another reddish color. This is called Dahlia. I believe this is the darkest shade in the palette, and I want to use that to deepen up the outer corner even more. So I've just used one brush so far to do my entire crease, which is nice because I feel like most people don't have like 80 brushes that they want to use to do an eye look. I really like this color combo. <laughs> Wowie. Okay. Perfect. Just blending a little bit more. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of fallout on my lower lash line, but that's not a problem. We can clean that up later. And now for the star of the show. Look at this gorgeous palette. Terra Moon was so kind and sent this to me. And the top row right here are the new pastel multi-chrome. So I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna go in the pink. The pink looks so pretty. These usually don't require me to wet them. So I'm just going to go in with this flat brush. I think I have enough on the brush to do both eyes. I kind of grabbed too much product, so it's getting a little wild on the lower lash line, but that's okay. Uh, just going to blend the shimmer off the crease. Kind of reminds me of the Davina um, candy candy something like the Explorer collection, the Willy Wonka collection. So, wow, this is such a pretty pink color. It looks more gold on my lids. And then I just want to add a little bit of the purple shade. So I'm going to use the same brush and just tap that on on top okay guys pretty simple eye look i'm gonna clean up and show you guys the final look afterwards okay guys so now that we're done with swatches and this eye look i am so excited that i have added more of these shades to my collection i will definitely be playing with these more and more and i know she's coming out with some new products soon too she's been teasing with some swatches and they look so beautiful so definitely planning on making some more purchases from this brand and yeah i'm really excited these are so fun and i really really like them i don't really have much else to say i don't have any problems with the toppers i can use them dry i can use them wet and they don't really ever let me down so i'm a very very happy customer if you guys have any more questions on the products i used Today, I will link everything down in my description box. You can also leave me a comment and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will catch you guys in my next one soon. Bye.